Hello and welcome to day 26 of the advent. I know that advent doesn't do day 26, but just roll with it. I'm joined by Tutron. Hi. Hello. The amount of stamps on this. I thing. know. There's, oh, do you oh, want to show the camera? I'll Mine's the, the return dress that's yeah. blatantly on the front. <laughs> but that, anyways, like, check out look the, at the stamps on this shit. I look think, that. are they Snoopy ones? Are they all um, Charlie Brown Snoopy? Yeah, they are. They are except all... for those two, which are a watch. Two but... fucking outsiders right there. <laughs> <laughs> bullshit that is. Oh, man, there's a new, uh, new uh, Peanuts movie coming out. Yes! Well, no, it's out already now. Is it out? Yeah, I, I think it was, was out, I want to say last week. I don't really know. It it's, it's not made any sort of marketing impact for me, so I have no idea. I just know it was on the spreadsheet. Yeah, no, it's, I saw the trailer for it. I went to see fucking the, the new, uh, the last, oh my god, the last Hunger Games film. Oh, yes. How Which, was the last Hunger Games? Uh, it was trash. I'm not surprised. Uh, yeah, no, I could go into a great length about why that film was bad. Yes. But then again, the book was also shit. So. <laughs> Here we go. He's off on a rant. To be fair, to be fair, I agree. Um, it's, yeah, it wasn't, it's not its finest work. It is very, um, so derivative. Uh, no, once it gets past the second one, and they have the arena, the rotating arena of doom, it, it goes a bit pants in the books. Also, yeah. she's a lot. She's a lot more indecisive about Peter and other guy, isn't she? Yeah, she's a bit of a dick in the books. A bit yeah. of a manipulative bitch. Yeah. You could say. Yeah. Also, officially worse rapping than Nilesy. Uh, I agree. This is from Lily. Hi, Lily. Uh, uh, so, what does it say? It says. Well, it says the little note about yep. Nilesy. It says. Do you want to read that? Happy Christmas to yours, Cast Hannah, and the rest of. The Yogg's cast. Thanks very much. And this has a letter on it, but there is no letter in it. I wonder if that was this. I don't know. Possibly. Uh, oh, but man. we have a collection of uh, things in here. We also have some drawings oh, from some Lily. Sick Hope you like them. These are really cool, actually. Yeah. Let me um, make it a bit flatter. Put that up. So we've got me trying to solve a puzzle, and then more me. Hi, me. Honestly, if you want to like, really ramp up the video production, you could always scan that in and overlay it over the footage. I could, but I'm really lazy. Yeah. My editing quality is so terrible. Well, you know, gotta, gotta make do. What have you got there for me? Uh, this is uh, it's probably why I'd sell in the box to open it with Kim. Because Maybe. she is of Asian descent, so obviously she must appreciate um, I could appreciate a good fan. A I think we can fan. all appreciate a good fan. I think so too, but I think these are like apparently very, very like associated with uh, with Asia, aren't they? Like the uh, the old geisha fans. Ugh. Just want me to give it a go. Go on then. I can't do it. I'm not a Bond spy slash geisha slash. Because it's like fan it's like user. You gotta do it like this. Or Spain. They like it in Spain as well, oh, don't yeah, they? That's there true. we go. The that's flamenco true. stuff. Very nice. Yeah. Not so much on the. I was going to say the dismount. The dismount was a bit, a uh, bit underwhelming. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. It's lovely. It's very fun. That's the first time I've ever done that, by the way. Oh. Yeah. Well, just, you know. Uh, I'm just very intuitive when it comes to uh, stuff like that. Well done. That's for you. Got some cranes. That's it for me. Origami cranes. Hi, Hannah. My name is Lily, and I'm 13 years old. Happy Christmas. I don't have much to say other than the biggest thank you I can give. You've been a mass massive inspiration for almost three years. Um, mainly because of the whole being a girl and playing video games thing. Which, yeah, two, you know. Uh, two really good qualities. It wasn't intentional, it's just I quite like him. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for buying me all those games when I was a kid. It's totally his fault, Mum. It's not mine. Yeah, Sorry. It's fucking video games. <laughs> Spending all day in front of the telly is horrible. Uh, right, so we've got uh, some doodles which I showed you guys. A new drawing style though, so some came out a bit wonky. They look pretty good for wonky. Yeah, not wonky at all. Uh, there's also an assortment of candy that is apparently really rare in the UK. Um, uh, Snickers, Snickers isn't rare. Uh, Butterfingers. Butterfingers is are. Um, Butterfingers. We'll come back to. Oh, hello! Reese's. Oh, Reese's is now Reese's are getting more and more popular over here. Actually, they yeah. are becoming more of a thing. But totally, yes. Uh, what you got there? Uh, baby Ruth. Baby Ruth. This is made of actual baby. Called cool Ruth. Uh, you know, in uh, actually, I'm not going to make that joke because you might, no. you're probably going to have to cut it anyway. 
<laughs> well, just imagine, just fill in the gap there of what you think he would have said. I've also made you a window ornament that's a picture of two dolphins. Uh, apparently the dolphins' names are Sally for the yellow one and Brandon for the pink one. Uh, there's oh. also a little plastic Dalek. Of course, cannot. Match one that I have. Exterminate. Uh. He added like laser shooting out of his little thingies. I'm not. I if, exterminate. If, maybe if I maybe if it was a Boxing Day. Right, Just well. have to imagine. Use the power of your imagination, kids. Yeah, exactly. Imagination Nothing compares is, uh, to the power of imagination. I'm gonna open it in the most inconvenient way possible. Sure. Oh, look at all this. Is that the letter? You've managed to open it next to the letter. Well, well done. I am a, a savant when it comes to opening gifts. Oh, it's the return address, Toots, but that's all right. It's, uh, it's a good start. Oh, no. Whoever this is has kindly sent us rolled up paper. And, and uh, bits. Oh, oh God. Right, yeah. hang on. Uh, the next present is from... Sam. Sam. It's like... <laughs> who's drawn a lovely card that says Merry Christmas. And then inside, uh, we've also got a demon Santa smoking. So this is the Jim Cell. God, it might be. Got to check. It's a bit this, unfortunate. Is it a belt below the butt? Uh, possibly. I'm not entirely, yes, yes. Like demon it. Santa. Uh, legit Demon Santa. Um, dear Hannah, this is my second time sending stuff at Christmas because I sent stuff last year. I also met you at I-55 and Comic-Con. Uh, in case you don't remember me, I was the guy wearing a t-shirt. Very humorous. Well done. Uh, I hope that you've had a great year and Simon's feeling much better now. Yes, he is. Thank you. Um, despite having like a cold and stuff, it, he's much, much better. Uh, I can't wait for the Christmas live streams and I really enjoyed everything you and the other Yogscast members have done this year. You've all been hilarious. Have a really good Christmas and amazing 2016. Thank you very much. Oh man, I know what this is. Do you? Yeah. Shall I open these? Oh yeah. It's part of the gang. Oh shh. Look at that. Oh look at That's this. That's amazing. It's a little Hannah right there. Oh, I think I recognize the colors on this one. Oh, this is why it's open with Simon and Kim. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little Simon. I'll put that on his desk. Oh, of course he's shorter as well. Yeah. I love him. And there is Lewis. They're lovely. Thank you very much, Sam. Lewis I'll make Lewis. sure the guys get those. Yeah. Cool. Really good. Oh, wait. Oh, please open last. Oh, no. Which one was that? I, was sorry, that mine? I, I, no, I wasn't. I guess this has been opened quite nicely. I destroyed the wrapping on yours. So, uh, this might have been... Uh, well, it might have been yours. Oh, it probably was. But thank well, you very much. Either you. way, Sam, they are lovely. Lovely. Now, before you move on to that one... Yes. Let's talk games very quickly. Oh, God. I know. It's going to be Fallout 4, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. Is that your game of the... Is that, are you saying that's your game of the year? I feel it's, like I'm, I'm doing... Not, I'm not saying that. Some sort of investigative report. I'm like, are you saying that's your game of the year? Is that your final statement? Is that, is that, is that the final thing? You want? Yeah. What is your game of the year? It doesn't have to be a game that's come out this year, it's just something that you've enjoyed this year. Uh, oh shit. Well, uh, my game of the year... I, I'll do one that's been released and one that I've enjoyed. How okay. That? One game okay. that was released this year, my favourite game that's been released this year, is Bloodborne for the PlayStation 4. It's a great <laughs> game. You should all buy it. It's yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah, Bloodborne is fantastic. Good choice, it's good amazing. choice. And, yep. uh, uh, just a game that I've been playing. You don't, you don't have to summon one up. Have you been playing League? I know Minty's been playing a bit of League. Oh, I've been playing that, but they, they've completely destroyed it. Oh. Like, I've, I've played a lot of Fallout, actually. Yeah? But I'm very angry about it. I, I, Smith didn't like it either. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm very, very angry about it. I'm I don't salty. think Zoe likes it either. <laughs> very salty but about that game. I, see, I quite like it, but I will agree it's not... I don't know what's going. I can hear. I can hear someone outside. I think it's period, just yeah. through the window. Um, no, I agree. There's some some elements of it aren't as great as others. Yeah. I like some changes. Things like the ghouls. I like. The ghouls are. I cool. like the ghouls. The ghouls are actually scary now. No, so I know. Cause just annoying. Some of them. Sh some of them still shuffle, but some just go. And you're like, no, why? They fucking charge you. I know. It's horrible. And then sometimes when you get into vats. If they're still doing the charge, they sort of just go uh, past your face. Oh God! It's yeah. like this has suddenly changed from quite scary to quite amusing. But um, yeah, no, I I will agree that it's not the best game ever, 
Um, yeah, but I, I, I've enjoyed playing it. Yeah, but I, I don't. I think we all have. I am, I'm salty about it because it's not what they promised us. First of all, like they've been, they've been quite open about like how the game looked. That's yeah. the thing. They promised a bit too much about how it played. Which is just like, oh, you're gonna feel that it's such an amazing open world, all the characters are gonna be super interesting and interactive, and all the, the consequences of your actions is gonna matter. It doesn't. I've played the main story, and it, it just doesn't. I've interacted with the characters, and they're not interesting. And, uh... The Piper only... makes me want to gouge my eyes out. My, like, I got a friend, and he loves Piper. He thinks Piper is like a super spunky, fun character. I fucking hate Piper. If I could, like, when I got, I got the achievement for pickpocketing somebody and putting a grenade in their pocket, and I chose Piper as my victim, <laughs> and she didn't die. I um, put the grenade in her pocket. When I exited out of that menu, she immediately yelled, "Get down!" She exploded and and didn't die. I suppose no. it's because she's important to the main storyline, isn't she? That's so true. You can't really kill her off, which is which is very sad. Sort it out, Bethesda. Um, yeah. Good. So what is next year, then? What are you excited for? Oh, Dark Souls 3. Fair enough. It makes sense with the Bloodborne. I am a big big Dark Souls fan. I know you are. Love those games. They're good. I yes. like them. Uh, what are the games are coming out next Doom. year? Doom. Don't give a shit about Doom. No. It's just going to be Doom with better graphics. Yeah. Which is Wait. why I, I'm like, yuck, because I love Actually, Wolfenstein. Actually... Yeah, actually, one thing about Doom that's going to be great, and I think that's going to be the reason I would play it. Yeah. The level creation and community yes. sharing of yes. levels. Yes. And game modes. The man, like they've basically got Unity level of programming tools in the game. That's that you good. Can just make yeah, your yeah, own game that modes is very stuff. good. I forgot about all that. I actually forgot about it too until I remember just now. So yeah. I am now currently excited about Doom. Just edit think, out when I said yeah, that. Yeah, alright. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else is there is. I'll be all right. I mean, there's far. There's the stuff that obviously I'm going to play, like Far Cry Primal yeah. and all that twaddle that we Telltale know. Telltale is doing Batman. Telltale is doing Batman. They're also rumored to be doing Marvel and a line. I want to say Line Gate, not Line Head. So the 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 Hunger Games. There's okay. a rumor that it's a Hunger Games related game, which could work. See, that would be interesting because my favorite part about the Hunger Games universe, what is the uh, the capital and district interactions and the Hunger Games themselves and I feel like yeah. exploring more of a capital driven narrative because what I loved about the movies in Well maybe it'd be like Game of Thrones you know where you've got have you played the Game of Thrones game where no, you, you have different characters to. around Westeros and Esos actually um, just dotted all over the place so that like you've got Mira in King's Landing yeah. so that when the purple wedding goes down that is a thing, and the red wedding as well. Um, so you you witness all that stuff. So hopefully that's how they do the Hunger Games. If they do the Hunger yeah. Games, who knows? I'd like to see like just like a previous year Hunger Games, maybe. Yeah, that, so would, be that would be good as well. Like, play as Haymitch in yes. his Hunger Games. Yes. Although we already know how that ends. Yes. But uh, I guess we'll see. And then I think the Batman the Batman game is just the Dark Knight, isn't it? Again. Maybe. I don't, I I've heard too much to, about it. It's supposed it. to be like a Batman origin story or something, but it's probably just going to be the Dark Knight again. Don't know. Um, I guess we find out. But yeah. it could be really good. I think they. I think Telltale needs to do Star Wars. They could. I mean, there's scope to do it. Maybe that's maybe something they are discussing. I mean, if they're well, if they're in talks about Marvel, yeah. all roads lead to Disney. <laughs> And Disney yeah. controls both Marvel and Star Wars, so yeah, sure. That's the Disney Star Wars Telltale confirmed for 2017. I would also quite like, if you're watching someone, I would really like a Knights of the Old Republic 3. I know you won't do it, because you're working on Mass Effect 4 and a load of other twaddle, but that'd be nice. Oh, oh this, this is, is beautiful. This is about the fanciest Christmas card I've ever seen. That is Snazaroonie. Look at that. So this is from... Touche. Touche. I think oh, it's touche. You're... Like, too much and Che Guevara. Che. Is it Che or Che? What does it che say? Guevara. It's a Che Guevara. Touche. Oh, it's, oh, they've told you to... Yes. Because last year... They sent me a Turkish coffee set, I seem to recall, because I've, I've got it, I have got it. And, um, yes, Martin, I think it was Martin I opened with. We were like, 
to 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 gay to che well, how do we what the fur so um thank you for putting it this year dear hannah merry christmas this is my second advent i was lucky to be open on camera last year thank you for the awesome content you provide each year hope my gifts bring you the same joy lots of love touche touche thank you touché. i like that name yeah. I do like that name. It's good. Also, your handwriting is pretty nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, let me let me just show you that without returning. Uh, Look at that! Some typography stuff. It's right beautiful. Here. First off, we have a, a lovely thing here. It says, for guest, in case you are not Kim or Duncan, enjoy Ooh. the goodies. Unfortunately, I am Kim and Duncan. But you can right have now. it anyway, guest. Uh, I'll save it for when I'm not. <laughs> okay. Duncan, which is in about two, three minutes. When you walk out the door, yeah. yeah so so you've got, I'll, I'll what's that? Those. You've got some cheese oh. crackery things and... Some chocolate biscuits, it looks like. Uh, this is a Kakolu. This is a. I would assume it's chocolate biscuits, this it is looks some like. Form it. Of tasty treats. I think they're like chocolate bourbon. Do you know like chocolate bourbons we have in the UK? The yeah, little square yeah. chocolate. I think that's the similar thing. Well, this means cocoa. Yeah, cacao does. So, so cacao. Right? Some kind of chocolate. Some kind of chocolate. Detective words. work. Yeah. We're doing it. Now, this on the other hand. I would assume is. It says, uh, hang on, I read it. There is sandwich cheese crackers. Cheese cream, cheese cool. cream. Thanks. Uh, we should. You shouldn't have said that because we could have pretended to know. Uh, oh damn! The language. Sorry, I spoiled that. Oh man. Are they koalas? You... Hang on, let me. Right, hang on. So we have got some slippers. It says on here, hopefully to keep you warm in your new home. Oh man. They're very sweet, and then we have some cat. Biggest. Oh, hang on, and these. So we've got some two loads of little post-it things, which have got cats, and then there's luggage. They're pretty cool. Fright Night Special. Oh, they're... Some tartan socks. Yeah. They are lovely. Thank you very much for those. And there's also funny sticker world smile face stickers. Thank you for yeah. those. And then, what else? Also a, uh, oh. I assume it's a book. Is it one oh. of the colouring books? I think it is, actually. But it's there's a something Turkish... inside as well. Something hang on that a you minute, really... no. So we have some ah, little cats. Oh. Oh, stickers. Seriously though, you guys, stickers are brilliant because it means that I can use them on stuff I send out. Uh, also, are these that popular in the UK too? Hope you enjoy it. Yes, they are. It's one of those coloring books. Um, coloring books for adults. the Turkish version has corrugate, like tear off pages, whereas most of the English ones don't. So you have to rip the book apart properly, whereas this you can actually just tear the page off. Yeah, These good. are pretty cool. Thank you very much for that. That's lovely. Mm. There's mm. loads of different people doing different things. There was They're having some, maybe that's traditional Turkish coffee they're having there. I'm yeah. not sure. Just uh, needs to be brewed over an open fire. Yeah, you have like a little special pot for it. Yeah. Um, it's quite, it's quite, I don't want to say heavy, but you put it in the bottom of your cup, basically. And then you drink it that way versus uh -huh. brewing it elsewhere. I can't. I can't remember. I've got the instructions, and I have done it. Oh, Let's see what this is. This is. Oh, you'll like this. Caramel. Ooh. Caramel chocolate. Milk chocolate with caramel filling. So I pop those upstairs. And then we also have apple and green tea, loose tea. Ooh, awesome. speaking of. Yeah? Well, I was just saying since we were talking about that. Oh, tea. Talk about tea. More tea. tea. These Ottoman tea. Snazzy. Look at the colours in that. It's like potpourri. Like, well, I suppose because Ottomans did Turkish delight. Don't. Well, they didn't do. We did Turkish delight, didn't we? But um, I guess it's similar sort of flowery, fruity flavours. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah that, thank you. And then we've got taped inside an envelope, traditional Turkish drink. It's sweet and best to consume hot with a pinch of cinnamon on the top. Cool. Well, that's interesting. Let's see if I can get one out without breaking the system. There we go. So oh, it's they're like those, uh, a little sachet. Really yeah. Thank you very much. Right. We'll enjoy experimenting with those in the office. Wow. Let's use Kieran as a guinea pig to try the try all. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, uh, <laughs> Did we manage to get him to eat salted licorice in the end? He put it in his mouth and immediately spat it back out. He's, like, such, he's no, such a wuss when it comes to food. Like, it was literally in, p straight out. Like, not even a, a second on his tongue. Oh, well. Meanwhile, I'm just there, just chugging him there. You were loving it. 
I kept bringing them over. Yeah. So yeah, thank you very much for all of that. That is an amazing, amazing gift. Thank you. Um, I'll make sure that everything goes to everyone. Um, also, very quickly, I'm going to very quickly do a shout out to... Where's it gone? Now, half of this arrived via Amazon, oh. but they split the order. So we've been waiting for the other half of this for a while. Wow. And this, so this is from Constantine Thomas, um, who I think is Evil Ganymede, I think, who is on uh, the Reddit, but also on Twitter, oh. if memory serves, who sent me two Kim Newman books. So sent me Life's Lottery and then The Secrets of uh, Drearcliff Grange School, I think it is. And it's basically, Harry Potter book horror, I think, and a girl's Ooh. school. So I'm well up for that. Thank you very much for both of very those. Exciting. And I'm so glad that we finally found the second one. Uh, curse you, Amazon. Oh, curse Amazon, you. They're, they're great. They're such uh, great service. Parcels. Thanks. Yeah. But that's a story for another time, because I think if we get to do that, we're going to go off on a rant. Oh, also, don't get us started on ordering things for the office. Oh, don't. We're, no, that's where we're not going. Um, no. Cool. <laughs> Thank anyway, you very much for joining me. Thank for, you for a having me. Slightly grumpy, yeah, well, complaining Christmas, but that's what we would like. Definitely. We're, we're massive humbugs at heart. Fuck Amazon. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Mum. Thank you very much for joining me. Oh, thank thank you. you for joining me, thank and you I'll for see you tomorrow. Joining me, Kim Duncan. Oh, yes. For and this, thank you, Kim this and Duncan. episode of Advent. And if you see Toots, do say I'll let hello. Him He's a okay. teacher. Hold on, I'll go get him. Okay. I'll go get him. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, hey guys, so I'm back. It's Hello. Tutron here. Just Hello. sent Kim and Duncan on their way. Oh, they've been talking some mad shit about Amazon. You would not believe. Oh, I fucking love Amazon. They're so great. I know. It's so great. Know, Always delivers on time. It's beautiful. Never had any issues with Amazon. No, whatsoever. we haven't. Perfect. <laughs> cool. Ten out of ten. <laughs> right. Should we go? <laughs> yes, we should right. go. Bye. Bye. <laughs>